All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are going thrifting for golf clubs, and we might hit up that pawn shop across the street, but this location is crazy. We are standing in front of a uh, Goodwill right here, and then right there, there's a Meals on Wheels thrift store, and then basically within walking distance, there's a Salvation yeah, Army. I've never seen a Meals on Wheels one before, though. Yeah, and they got a really cool mural, too, yeah. so we're definitely going to uh, have some fun. Mm -hmm. Very short commute to all of these uh, thrift stores and pawn shops, but never know what yeah. you're gonna find, so let's go find it. Let's go find it. All right, we managed to uh, find some golf clubs in here. This Goodwill is uh, really weird. They have a bunch of like brand new products. They have like a whole picture frame and like happiness is homemade section of uh, things. But uh, also the golf clubs are with this. It's like a car fit. What is that? I have no idea. Oh, it's uh, set up for this uh, punching oh, bag. Okay. Also, Ashley already found something that is totally if worth. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Yeah. And also, pull a floating storm. Yeah, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> but the lady on the backside has the weirdest look on her face. I don't know about that. But the uh, golf clubs in here, looks like a full set, or at least they all have the uh, same grips on there. Tour model number two. Tour model number two. I missed out on uh, number one. It's like a ping eye to uh, knock off. Yeah, looks how much good. Let's see how much the prices are around this area. $7, $7 a piece. Okay. We're gonna pass on the pool floaty, but I'm Ashley is- not passing up on the That's trip. amazing. Is that Wrangler? I don't know. Super comfy though. Whoa. Yeah. Express rider. There we go. Four dollars and ninety-eight cents is cheaper than the golf club. <laughs> Amazing. Well, I got something. Yeah, we will eventually leave this Goodwill, but check this out: is a Dale Earnhardt hockey sweater. That is pretty sweet. Ten dollars, Winter Circle. Let's show Ashley. Let her, see if she let me get it. That is awesome. That is awesome. I've never seen that before. No. Right, we'll it's the collab we all needed. Yes. Dale Earnhardt and hockey. All right, not a total bust for that first thrift shop, but hopefully a better luck at the next one. Also, check out this incredibly cool mural. Let's see what's inside. Looks like they had some uh, free items out here. Yeah. Fun story, my mom used to uh, volunteer for the uh, local uh, Meals on Wheels thing and I used to ride around with her. We met a bunch of uh, really nice people. It's a very good uh, organization, oh, yeah. or, or at least they'll... They have a yeah, I've never seen one before. Oh, is it open? Yep, yep. it's open. Okay. It's like blackout windows. All right, this place is gigantic, but we have managed to uh, find some uh, golf clubs hidden back here, and I got super excited for a second. I thought it was a, a full set of these, some uh, Ben Hogan's. I think these are from the 70s. They have the uh, Apex right there. We'll leave a link to a, uh, just basically like a infographic of every single Apex iron ever made. So they look really similar. Yeah, they all look pretty similar, and they have some like modification years and everything like that. But uh, I don't know how much the club's in here, but we're still gonna get those because I love Ben Hogan's and I just wanna try them out. Also, I wish we were closer to home because I would totally buy these. They have uh, voodoo battered fried pickles. We've tried the uh, chips of that uh, company. They're For incredibly good. Yeah, they're really good. Well, if those fried pickles weren't the highlight of it, I think it actually is a, a full set of these uh, Ben Hogan Apexes over here. There's just a random set back here. Yeah, I think that might actually be a full set. How many do you have? I have four, five, six, and seven. Oh no, they got the uh, stickers all over these. We'll have to uh, check out. This is probably the, oh, it's a two iron. Uh, I'm just gonna pull it out. Uh, this is much harder than it looks. I'm reaching over lots of sharp items. Whoa. There you go. That's the original Ben Hogan grip right there. Nice. All right, we'll confirm if it is a uh, full set, but. Most of them. How cool is that? <laughs> also fried pickles. All right, ended up being kind of a uh, full set. They were a dollar a piece, and then that one uh, group of them was uh, $3, and they were green, so they were 50% off, but we uh, paid them a little bit more because it's a uh, good charity, mm -hmm. but. The Wendy's? No. Oh. I asked somebody at Wendy's. What... They're open till 3.30. I think it's 3.30. Yep. Oh, they now? Uh, no, that's still open. There's still people yeah. in there. Yeah, we just came out of there. Uh, I think about half an hour. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Happy thrifting. Nice yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the uh, clubs were 50% uh, off, but we paid a little bit more, yeah. like I was uh, saying, to say uh, good charity. Oh, absolutely. And it ended up being basically a full set. It's two iron, and then there's no three iron. It goes all the way down to the uh, nine iron. Mm -hmm. But with uh, modern lofts, like basically the nine iron is a pitching wedge anyways. Yeah. It wouldn't have come with a pitching wedge anyways. Why? Because the great equalizer. The great equalizer. There you go. Ben Hogan called the pitching wedges the equalizer. Yep. There we go. We'll meet you at the next spot. Random useless trivia. There you go. That's what we're known for. <laughs> Whoa, check out this vintage McDonald's. That's so cool. Got more useless uh, knowledge information for you. A plaque. This is the first location of a Publix food store. There was uh, two of them, and then he closed it, and then he had his uh, dream of opening a supermarket. A food palace, in fact. Wow. There you go. You can read that. We'll, we'll pause for two more seconds so you can pause and read it. But we're at a thrift store. This is the most organized and well scented thrift store I've ever been to. It's amazing. Amarillo Dilla's baseball. Yes. That's amazing. Is it $66? <laughs> no, it's $4. We're getting that. 
What's we'll let you know if we find any golf clubs. Because all the pawn stores, or where are we at? Thrift stores, all this whole sporting goods section. That's why I'm whispering. I don't want anybody to find it. You <laughs> what? You have one? What'd you find? Whoa! <laughs> From whispering show. Yeah, this is the most golf clothes I've ever seen today at a thrift store. It's certainly the uh, the most uh, well put together. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh, they're all like kind of uh, put together too. In terms of, uh, oh, this is nice, 981 uh, DCIs, uh, left-handed, though. Those are pretty cool. It was a full set of those. I definitely picked them up. What else have we got over here? Got some, this is kind of cool how they have them uh, set out. Mm -hmm. Got some uh, Wilson Blades. What do we got? Ten Commandments of Golfing. Oh, it's a World Golf Hall of Fame. Yeah, it's yeah. cool. Not seeing anything worth picking up. Oh, they got the whale. Not the killer whale, though. Yes. <laughs> My dad used the killer whale for a while. He had matching whale pants, apparently. I'm sorry I, I didn't get to see I those. Need a picture of that. There was no picture I've asked for it. <gasps> There's more clubs over here. I have spalding cash and putter. That's kind of cool. We'll let you know if we end up uh, finding anything besides the uh, armadillo hat. Definitely coming with home with us. Yep. There you go. My worst day of golf is still better than my best day at work. There you go. What if your job is a professional golfer? It ended up actually being a uh, full set of these uh, 981 DCIs once we went back there and looked at it. They're $4 a piece. It's a 5 iron, 6 iron, 7 iron. I can count. There's the eight. There's the eight. Where's the nine? Nine and pitching ones. There you go. Okay. Proof I can't count. The find of the day, though. What is it? It's an Indiana Beach golf ball. There's more than corn in Indiana. The That's awesome. used to be on all the time growing up. That's an amazing slogan. <laughs> Almost as cool as the armadillo hat. No, yes. yours is cooler. That's cooler. Yeah. All right. We got a, a complete set of the uh, Titleist irons. As you guys can see, I can count. A random golf ball. Random golf random ball hat. and armadillo hat. What more could you need? Subscribe for more amazing content. <laughs> this thrift store just literally keeps yeah. on getting better. It's a David Faraday, somewhere in Ireland, a village is missing an idiot. <laughs> He looks very young there. Yes, he does. Yeah. Also, there was a four in there. I won't recount them for you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We looked all around the store for the golf clubs, and they were literally right by the uh, front door. This uh, Florida bag is uh, pretty sweet right here. It comes with the uh, rain cover. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That would do good at the uh, flea market. Yeah. And we, where are we going for? 20 bucks. 20 bucks. How long have they had that? 4-22-08. I don't know what date that means. <laughs> they've had it since 2008 i don't know but uh, let's see if they've got any uh, golf clubs for us oh what is this we got a oh it's a croydon uh, blaster that is cool i can't even read that no. custom built stainless oh it's a ladies it's a ladies blaster <laughs> i can't sweet. use it that's pretty sweet <laughs> just for me lady blaster and a uh, florida bag there you go there you go. We walked literally around this entire store. I was like, what are the chances that they don't have golf clubs? And then, funny enough, they're literally right here. All right. We'll meet you at the next one. Folks, I do not know if you're ready for this. It is Tuesday, so we looked up a taco shop. There's a taco stand. And literally, this pawn shop is not on Google Maps. Oh. What could be better? This is pretty amazing. Taco Tuesday tacos and a pawn shop. Let's go to the pawn shop first. Find something to pay for our tacos. Yes. Well, no golf clubs there. In fact, he hasn't had anybody ask for golf clubs in years, so he doesn't even take them. Yeah. But at least we get tacos. At least we get tacos. That was just a bonus. Didn't yes. even know it was there. It's not in the uh, the old Google. But let's see what we got for tacos. Oh okay. my goodness! Every day is Taco Tuesday here. Apparently, they're only a dollar, no matter what meat you get. Awesome. Yeah, the food looks really good. Well, at least the pictures look really good. Yeah. Don't see shrimp, fajitas. shrimp fajitas from a food truck. That might be risky. Everything looks really good though. Torta, five dollars. They got tamale. Oh man, they got Saturday and Sunday only. There was that guy at the uh, flea market, the one that we usually go to. He had uh, mole tamales. Those were so good. Incredible. Yeah, he doesn't go there anymore though. We'll have to try and find him. I think a menudo too. We'll let you know what we end up getting. I like tacos. This is amazing. Have you ever seen a quesadilla that looked that good? It's got avocado in there. We got with the uh, chorizo, and then we also got some uh, tacos. You mm. Taste test. Well, is that like a roasted jalapeno or a serrano or something? I think it's serrano. Let's see if it's hot. There you go. <laughs> Taste test. Food reviews while finding golf clubs. Not hot, but delicious. Delicious? Oh, right. A little kick, but not bad. A little taste test. Oh, we got the uh, salsas oh, yeah. too. Both green. Very dense. I think it's got like avocado in there. It's a little bit thicker. Yeah, too. Oh my goodness. Those are the cutest little limes ever. Yeah, <laughs> I think they're uh, key limes. <laughs> There's that spice. Then you got the spice <laughs> later. <laughs> Stings the nostrils. <laughs> that good? I mean, for a dollar, if you like, that's, you should, yeah. yeah, there you go. Well, I don't think that's how you're supposed to eat it, but that's an option. The big taco. Was it good? The chorizo is amazing. <laughs> that is so good. Definitely going to stop by this place next time.
All right, there was a guy with a handful of clubs that uh, just uh, checked out, so I doubt there's going to be anything uh, left for us. We got a uh, Lady Hogan over. Oh, we got a uh, Nike VR Pro Limited Edition. <laughs> Still got the uh, the uh, Flex uh, st sticker on there, Diamana Shaft. Nice. That is. That is awesome. I don't know how much the clubs are in here. I don't know, but I've, oh, I've got a TP Mills. A TP Mills. Number three. That guy literally just left with like a handful of clubs. Yeah. Weird. All right, got a Nike VR Pro and a uh, TP Mills. We'll let you know if we find, oh, here we go. We got a Adams Tom Watson uh, wedge, 56 degrees. A, a Mizuno MX-17 four iron. And this looks like the, yeah, a Mizuno MX-16 oh, three and four iron. Oh, wow. <laughs> what in the world? Like Adam's golf bag too. Also, please tell me what this putter is. Whoa, what is that? Bob Toski. Oh, it's Bob like, Toski is a uh, he was a teaching pro. That's what I was gonna say. Is yeah. it training aid? Because that that doesn't seem easy to hit. Yeah, that is uh, pretty cool. I think there's also an Adam's idea for hybrid back there. Oh, nice. And there's like a weird driving iron. Oh, it's a alien driving iron. <laughs> I hit those when uh they first came out. I don't remember if I like them or not. We'll have to try that again. But we do. That That's is pretty amazing. He so left those behind. Oh, it is a cylinder putter. Roll. <laughs> All right, ended up picking up the uh, GX7, the Nike VR Pro, and then we got the uh, Alien uh, driving irons, the three and four iron of the uh, MX17, the Bob Toski putter, the uh, Adams hybrid, and a TP Mills. Mills. That was a crazy uh, find. Yeah. And they were all a dollar. Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot to say that. We got yeah. them all for a dollar each, not yeah. total. All right, folks, that was a very, very uh, interesting day. Very interesting day, to uh, say the least. The yeah. uh, pawn shops uh, actually weren't as uh, good as I thought they were going no. to be, but the uh, thrift stores more than made yes. up for it. We just got uh, done trying everything out at the uh, driving range. Mm -hmm. We'll throw up some uh, shot tracers and some eBay comps, but definitely some good finds. First find of the day, we'll go through the order that we got it. We got the uh, Ben Hogan Apex Irons from 1972. It's basically a uh, full set. It goes uh, two iron, then to uh, four iron, all the way down to the uh, nine iron, and those things were buttery okay. soft. Incredible. Yeah, those were uh, some of my uh, favorite Ben Hogan forgings, mm -hmm. but uh, definitely a, a good find there. They don't go for a crazy amount of money, but they are uh, fun to hit. Fun to hit for sure, unless you hit them bad. Yes. Then they're not fun to uh, <laughs> yes. fun to uh, hit. And then uh, after that, actually, we don't have to go in the order. I forget what we got. I don't remember. Yeah, we got the uh, Titleist uh, 981 DCIs. We didn't test them out because there was a guy picking up balls at the range, and I was afraid I was going to shank it into his face. Left -handed, so yeah, yeah, left-handed. Wasn't worth it. Yeah, was was not worth his life. But the right. They're still good. We've yeah, hit them too. we've hit them before, and they're uh, still very good. Yep. And then uh, I think we got the uh, bag after that, which is really cool. The uh, Florida Gators bag got so there's actually a uh, glove in here. Where was it? There we go. Yeah, weather soft. Sweet. Sweet. Oh, we also got this uh, sandblaster club in there, and uh, we were both too afraid to hit that. Yes, it was very cool though. The the head's a little loose on the uh, the shaft there. Maybe one day I'll get the courage to hit that. Yeah, that, not today. Not today. We With also the, I totally forgot to hit this. Yeah, I, I was so excited to hit that. I totally <laughs> forgot to uh, hit it. But the uh, find of the day, if you ask me, and that I still don't know why this guy like uh, left the clubs there. He was carrying like an armful of clubs. Yeah. He must have had like Mioras or something in his arms. He didn't care about these. Really good clubs. Yeah, these are still really good clubs. Some of the better stuff that we found at a uh, thrift store lately. Ooh. We got the uh, Nike VR Pro Limited Edition, and I was hitting like every single that. shot with that uh -huh. yeah i was able to hit fades draws which is kind of hard for me to do i'm more of a fader mm -hmm. and that thing was uh, super nice got the diamana shaft in there and then we also got the uh, gx7 which is one of my favorites one of ashley's favorite all your favorites are like gimmick clubs square strike don't me. judge me they work they work they do work <laughs> they're a gimmick for a uh, reason yes. to sell on tv but yes. basically the uh, gx7 is uh, super forgiving it's a little bit smaller than a, a traditional driver got mm -hmm. more loft and uh, less uh, flex yeah. or a lighter flex so it's just easier to hit yeah. in general and we also got the uh, mx17s these things had a super high ball fly i might make a, a little combo set with those with some uh, mizuno blades yeah. that would be a uh, fun and then for the uh, putters we tortured ourselves we <laughs> told us like the uh, most difficult putt on that practice green and i couldn't make it yeah my life literally it was breaking every which way and i had like a total like hold my beer moment i was like i'm just gonna slam this in there it almost worked. It did. Yeah, That's but the Bob Toski putter, it actually has a really good uh, like alignment aid yeah, to like it. Yeah, I like how like, you stand over it. It's like more upright. Yeah, I liked it. It actually felt pretty good. Mm -hmm. Not as good as the uh, TP Mills, which are some of the, uh, our favorite putters, obviously. Yes. We mentioned that. We mentioned every time. every single video we mentioned uh, <laughs> TP Mills. But uh, hopefully you guys did like this video. Lots of fun. Yeah. Super Tacos, fun Goodwill finds, golf clubs. What more could you want? Nothing. That's why you should subscribe, right? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, and so my parents don't think I'm a failure. And we're racing Rick Shields at 3 million. <laughs> there you go. We're only 2.9 million away. <laughs> Just a little bit behind. Yeah, but hope you guys did like this video. Don't like, subscribe, and, and we'll see, you next see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.